Well, some of the biggest names in business are in Davos, Switzerland, for the World Economic Forum, and our very own Liz Clayman, also one of those names, is there covering it all. Today, she sat down with the uh, CEO who personally led his company from also ran status to a $6 billion international powerhouse. Liz, I got to tell you, New York is starting to look more and more like Davos, except a little dirtier. I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah right. Although, uh, I'll tell you something. It's we're getting very cold out here. We're all freezing. But, of course, I took off the need to hold the pen. No, no gloves at the moment. But, yes, my guest that I'm talking to right now, he's a South African who runs a U.S. company without which we might all have the flu. He is Stanley Bergman of Henry Schein, which is the world's largest distributor of the flu vaccine, among other medical products. And I began by asking him, since all the talk is very global here at Davos in the World Economic Forum, I began by asking him, are we underrating the threat of global flu. Here's what he said. Very serious and not taken seriously enough. How bad is it? Well, this year it looks okay. Last year was fine, but not enough people are getting inoculated against the flu. And it's an easy thing. It's inexpensive and we can save a lot of lives in a year when we may have uh, a spreading of the virus. And this is one of your biggest parts of your business, is it not? Uh, it's not one of our yeah. biggest, but we are the largest distributor flu vaccine in the United States what to physicians. What is your biggest business then? Our largest business is the dental supplies, consumables of de dental consumable products and dental equipment, both in the United States and Canada, Europe, Australia, New Zealand, and now in China. What's your biggest growing market at Henry Schein? Our biggest growing market is dental specialties, implants, mm -hmm. endodontics, and other forms of dental specialty products. Well, those are expensive, Stan. Which countries, which population is spending the most on that? Well, of course, the, the U.S. is still spending the most. Uh, we love our bright choppers in the U.S., don't right, we? Right. We still spend uh, the most, uh, although uh, we had a little bit of a setback in the post-2008 period, but it seems like the visits to dentists have stabilized and slightly going up, and uh, dentists are buying equipment again. You're in 24 countries. 24 countries. What's your so. fastest-growing nation? Uh, I would say right now it would be China followed by Turkey. China seems to be a real opportunity for a lot of people here. It You've is. been there a couple of times. Yes, go there regularly. What's it like for you as a businessman? Not easy because you've got to be very, very competitive on price, mm -hmm. on service, and those are challenges, but we're, we're facing the challenges. The margins. Do, do the Chinese make it difficult for you to get bigger margins? Yes. Yes, the government? The, I mean, everybody wants no, what's it like to It's do very, business. very competitive, mm -hmm. but we also buy a lot of products in China, mm -hmm. so we source there. And uh, I think it's going to be a terrific market in the years to come. Uh, speaking of terrific, uh, some people, certainly shareholders, would look at your stock, which just a few days ago hit an all-time high of $66 a share. I think it's come back down a little bit from that. But looking at that and that kind of growth from the company you took over, how much market cap... Uh, since you've been in charge, has this company added over the years? Well, we went public uh, in 1995, 94 actually, uh, November, 95, sorry. Mm -hmm. And at that time, the market cap was about 300 million, mm -hmm. and uh, we're just over 6 billion now. Just over six billion. Yeah. I mean, you at the, the forefront. I, I wouldn't I, say that. It's a terrific team, as uh, you, you know. You say that. Listen, yeah. I've talked to some of those members. Uh -oh. In fact, some are in my kickboxing classes at the at the gym, and and <laughs> and they say, Stan. Well, Stan lives the one that was in your company. kickbox class <laughs> was our very first salesperson, and she's terrific, <laughs> and she's still with us and a senior manager now. Well, good. You know, it's nice to give the, the shout-outs to the workers, but right. what is the secret to this kind of management? It's all about people, as you know that. It's about finding the right way to motivate everybody to work on the same team towards the same goals. And back now live in Davos, Switzerland, uh, Chris and Lori, I'll, I'll tell you something. To, to hear Stanley Bergman, who is, of course, somebody who does a lot of work, his company, when there are things like the tsunami or any kind of natural disaster in Haiti, they will put together an immediate mobile unit, and they will take all of their goods from their medical products, they'll put them in there, they'll fly it everywhere, they'll do it for free. He truly feels that it is extraordinarily important to have a, a real philanthropic heart, a corporate heart as well.